Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about the data center and some related topics such as protection from natural disasters, network rack, server rack, patch panels, HVAC, computer room air conditioning unit with design of hot and cold aisles. The data center refers to a building or a group of buildings or a dedicated space within a building to house telecommunications and storage systems. Generally, the data center is the telecommunications center of an organization where networking devices, servers, firewalls, routers, entrance facility and other equipment are housed. There's many different terms for the data center, such as the server room, the equipment room, or simply MDF. They are more or less the same thing. Potato, potato. No matter what it is called, the data center is the nervous center of organization. Any disastrous incident to the data center would be catastrophe. It's a matter of life or death to many data sensitive organizations and companies. To protect the data center, we need many protection layers such as personnel control and security, policy and procedures, etc. I will discuss more security topics in separate lessons in the future. Today I only focus on a few things. One is prevention of natural disasters. Natural disasters can cause catastrophic results to the data center, such as device damages or even debt loss. The data center should be protected from natural disasters such as flood, tornadoes, fire, hurricanes, or even earthquake if you live in California or Japan. I live in Kansas. There's a lot of natural disasters, tornadoes, twisters, and rednecks. If your data center is located in Kansas, the building should be strong and solid. Otherwise, your data center will be blown away and land somewhere else. Surprise! We are not in Kansas anymore. To protect the data center from possible severe weather and natural disasters, they should be in a building with a solid foundation and walls and a high quality roof. The building should be built on high ground to prevent water or flood. The building should not be any close to forests and volcanoes. The data center built close to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park would be a very bad idea. Smoke and heat detectors and automated fire suppression systems are important. A network rack or server rack is a metal phrase chassis that holds and stacks network hardware such as servers, routers, switches, and etc. They may be two post or four post racks. They come in different shapes and sizes. They may be wall mounted or ceiling mounted racks or freestanding on the floor. They are measured in rack units. R U or U and one U is 1.75 inches. Patch panels are used to organize and protect keyboards and devices. Without patch panels, devices would be connected directly that would easily mess up keyboards and cause a lot of trouble. By definition, patch panel is wall or rack mounted panel where the keyboards converge in one location. And they are used to organize and protect the keyboard's devices as we mentioned early. They come in a different sizes and purposes. For example, 110 block patch panel for fast computer network and a 66 block patch panel um, is used 
for telephone system, the most popular patch panel has 24 ports. Inside the data center, many network devices like switches, bridges, or hubs don't produce a lot of heat. On the other hand, servers, routers, firewalls, and monitoring computers can generate a huge amount of heat. The data center should have HVAC system separate from the rest of the building. HVAC stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. The thermostat is used to monitor the temperature. Crack unit with cold and hot aisles is a popular cooling system in the data center. Crack unit or computer room air conditioning is an air conditioning system. It works with the design of hot cold aisles. In the data center, server racks are lined up in the aisles with a front size facing each other. They are cold aisles. The cold aisles get cold air directly from crack unit from the bottom of the raised floor. The cool area cools down the servers on the rack. Meanwhile, the back of the servers went out hot air into the hot aisles. The hot air naturally rise to the upper level of the room and return to the crack unit, not crap unit. With the design of cold hot aisles to cool down the servers in the front and vent warm air to the back, hot and cold air are prevented from mixing. The smart design lowers overall cooling requirements and energy consumption. I hope this video is useful. Thank you very much. See you next time.